Ah, love, marriage, and a baby carriage, to paraphrase those famous lyrics. But for millions of black women, many blessed with brains and beauty, finding the right man is proving elusive. But why? Are their standards too high or are the pickings too slim? Lindsay Davis tried to answer that question. Happy birthday! Cheers. Cheers. Make a wish. Nicole Marchand is celebrating another birthday. At 31, she's accomplished a lot. She's a prosecuting attorney and running for state court judge. It'll be a $500 fine. Nicole isn't the kind of woman you'd find standing by on the sidelines of life. But you would find her here, at the Georgia Dome. Cheering on the Atlanta Falcons. You've heard of a man's man. Nicole is the quintessential man's woman. She appears to have it all, and yet, she's still single. 42% of black women have never been married. That's double the number of never married white women. I look forward to the day. I look forward to being married. It's just not that easy. For starters, there are more black women than black men. 1.8 million more. So even if every black man in America married a black woman today, one out of 12 still wouldn't make it down the aisle. Let's take 100 black men. If you eliminate those without a high school diploma, those without a job, and the number of black men between the ages of 25 and 34 who are incarcerated, that leaves only about half of black men eligible to pop the question. Nicole sees the problem every day. It is sad to see that the majority of the defendants that we prosecute are black males. Those numbers can be very disappointing. Admittedly, the selection of men is, is slim. Get it through your head. You're the Friday girl that's just for sex. That's what you are. We broached this serious dilemma with comedian-turned-relationship guru Steve Harvey, author of the book Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. There are still a lot of good men out there who are being overlooked. Harvey says black women don't have to settle, but may need to compromise. You a corporate exec? Does he have to be a corporate exec? You make $150,000 a year. He has to make 150 dollars or above? That, that's your requirement? If your requirement sheet is ridiculous, you have to look at it. What we looked at were the large numbers of professional black women who groom themselves for success with BAs, MDs, and JDs. 70% of them are still without the more elusive title, MRS. I would be lying if I said that I don't have fleeting thoughts of, okay, I'm 32, my clock is ticking. The tick-tock of the biological clock is getting louder for several of Nicole's single friends. Meet Chateau Waters. She's a 32-year-old high school counselor pursuing a doctorate degree in psychology. We have this thing called the black girl curse. A lot of our white friends are married by 25, like happily married kids by 27 and we're like what is the deal with the BGs you know just and it's the black girl. <laughs> Jakeen Ashford is a chemist for a pharmaceutical company. Now that she's 34 she's lowered the bar when it comes to height requirements. I don't have a certain criteria like if you're not 6'5 and I used to but then as I got older I said okay well maybe if you're 6'3, 6'2, 6'1 okay maybe we could see eye to eye. I kind of have certain standards that I, I hold myself to and I don't feel like I should have to settle on those for the sake of having somebody. Um, I'm willing to wait. Like many black men, she's also open to dating outside her race. In fact, in the past decade, the number of black women entering interracial marriage has more than doubled. In fact, last night, <laughs> was at a restaurant, I had a great conversation with this, this Caucasian gentleman. I mean, we were vibing, we were clicking. I'm thinking, he's going to ask for my number. This, I, white men never ask for my number. And he was like, all right, well, great conversation. You know, maybe I'll see you around. And I was thinking, what you happened? Asked for his. No. <laughs> We're maybe not as coveted as black men in society. Melinda Watson is a 28-year-old payroll specialist. She hasn't had an exclusive relationship since college. I just feel that there's a lot of taboo associated with dating black women because I don't think that they're necessarily going to want to take us home to see mama. The consensus in this group was that their preference is to marry a black man. It's not that they can't find one to date. The issue in many cases is exclusivity. You meet these great guys, you have good relationship, good rapport, and then it's almost like, 
I'm going to keep you around, and hopefully when I'm ready to settle down, you'll be there. That's the back pocket girl. The back pocket mm -hmm. girl. Yeah. And every now and then, they'll check in with you to make sure you're still single. You're not married right. yet, are you? still single? Right. You still waiting on me? No, not really. Chateau hasn't been in a committed relationship in more than a decade. If you have four quality women that you're dating and, you know, they're in rotation, I mean, who's going to rush into a marriage? We decided to ask Mr. Harvey for advice. He listened as we asked our single ladies about their requirements. I had a list of about 50 things that I would keep in my Bible. It's now down to about 10. Honesty, supportive, financially stable. Now, granted, I'm 31, so he needs to be at a certain stage. What do you consider a deal breaker? If there's not that initial chemistry, we're, it's not. It's never going to work. I don't care if you have every quality on my list. You know, I'm not going to talk to you if I'm not attracted to you. <laughs> right. Are That's they asking right. too much? So maybe it's just that we want it all. The single ladies. <laughs> Throw your hands up. How y'all doing? His initial reaction? All y'all fine. Hell, who don't want to go out with y'all? <laughs> Me and my age have made a mistake in that we didn't teach the generation behind us the principles of manhood. There are so many African-American men missing, absent in the family. His advice, go for the older man. You have a biological clock. We don't. While these women look forward to settling down, <laughs> they're you know not what? willing you to settle. One the one thing that I can't control is a man choosing to marry me. And so I choose not to worry about it. Being that I've waited so long, I just, I can't settle now. It's not an option for me. I would love to be in a relationship, a marriage, but I don't feel that that defines me. So if I don't find the perfect person for me, then I'll just remain single. I'm Lindsay Davis for Nightline in Atlanta, Georgia.